Reporting from Arkham Asylum, this is Gotham Rogues. In this video we take a look at Deadshot's first appearance. Deadshot made his first appearance in Batman No. 59, published in 1950. The story was titled The Man Who Replaced Batman, and was written by David V. Reed and penciled by Louis Schwartz. In it, Batman and Robin return from a vacation to find out that there's a new crime-fighting vigilante in Gotham. He goes by the name of Deadshot, and is a real crackshot with a revolver, shooting the guns out of the criminal's hands. Soon, Commissioner Gordon actually begins to favor Deadshot, and the dynamic duo finds themselves replaced as the city's protectors. Doing some investigating, Batman is however able to discover that Deadshot is actually Floyd Lawton, a playboy millionaire just like himself. But that his crime-fighting career is just a ruse. Lawton's plan is to get rid of Batman and Robin, allowing him then to seize control of the Gotham underworld undisturbed. But how is Batman supposed to convince Gordon of this, when all he thinks is that the Dark Knight is jealous of Deadshot for stealing his limelight? This was the only appearance this version of Deadshot made. He was brought back for a second story in 1977, where writer Steve Englehart and penciler Marshall Rogers completely reimagined the character. It was then that the Deadshot we know now was introduced. It's kind of funny to look back at this, his first appearance, just how different Floyd Lawton was. Nowadays he's got one of the coolest comic book costumes ever, but back then he wore a very basic outfit, a tailcoat, a top hat and a domino mask. For a guy who goes out to fight crime, I'd say it's a pretty silly getup to wear. But then again, it's not like Robin looked any better. As for the story itself, it's a very juvenile and innocent plot. Really? Gordon thinks that Batman is jealous? That's just cute. And Deadshot. If you want to get rid of Batman and Robin, just shoot him. You're supposed to be so great with a gun, remember? Was it really necessary to do the whole vigilante bit? But to be fair, that whole scheme of his does make Deadshot a pretty unique villain. At the time, at least. No other rogue had pretended to be a superhero and tried to replace Batman. So I do appreciate the originality of the villain's plot here. As for Lawton's motivations for doing all of this, it does appear to be simply greed. He wants to be king of the underworld. And why? For money and power, one must assume. So in his first appearance, Floyd wasn't a very compelling rogue. He was just a villain with a scheme, who needed to be brought down by the Batman. I do like though that it's explained that Deadshot had a private shooting range built in his mansion, and practicing there is how he got his marksman skills. Back in those days, it was common to just skip such details. I also like that Lawton has a British butler, just like Bruce, like an evil Alfred. They were kind of going for a dark mirror image of Bruce Wayne with Deadshot, but I think it would have worked better if he was genuine about his crime-fighting career. Instead of it being a ruse, he could have gone too far instead, or allowed himself to be corrupted. But I guess that's too much to ask for from a 50s comic. In conclusion, this is a typical late golden age story, a light-hearted fun romp. Not meant to be taken seriously, but there's nothing really wrong with that. I personally find comics of this era to have a certain charm. If you also feel that way, then you can't go wrong with this story. And of course, if you're a big Deadshot fan, then you should give it a read too, just to see how he begun. He wasn't a suicidal hitman, but just a scheming crook with a top hat. So there you have it, that's Deadshot's first appearance. Remember, Arkham Asylum awaits you in the next video.